Greetings everyone and welcome to the 2021 Big East Conference Art Show. My name is Nathan Kilps. I am the art educator from Northern Ozaki High School and I'd like to welcome you to the RAR West Museum in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. First off, I would like to thank everybody who is watching, everyone who is able to come in person to see these amazing artworks, and especially the RAR West Museum who has supported us for years, allowing us to have the Big East Conference Art Show here year after year. I would like to thank all the students who worked so hard to put these works together and all of the art teachers who put so much effort into their programs to help cultivate the physical, mental, social, emotional, and spiritual development of their students. It is in art classes and few others in the students' lives that they are asked to reflect and express on their own experiences and lives. I hope that the importance of a proper art education is not lost on the students, parents, and administration. I guarantee it is not on the art educators. But I hope that you all understand that art is a testament in which the focus is to do more and to do better. We have some amazing artworks to share with you, and although we are not able to share them in a proper opening, we do encourage you to visit the RAR West and see them in person, because unless you see them in person, you cannot see the depth and the capability that the students have poured into each and every one of these artworks. The Big East Conference Art Show will be running through April 18th, 2021. Without further ado, the art educators of the Big East Conference will be introducing themselves and their students' work. Thank you again for watching, and I hope that you do come to see these artworks in person. John Ernest from Cedar Grove Belgium Schools, and uh, um, I've got a really good group of uh, sophomores this year um, that I'm really going to miss having um, in the future. Um, starting out, I have Maya Baleen, um, who is a sophomore, and she did a, a water cut up, watercolor, and uh, um, just an excellent job. Uh, the another, next one is a, another sophomore, um, and she did another watercolor. Um, it's a self-portrait of, it's called Baby of Fire, um, then we have Cole Ketterhagen's um, colored pencil drawing. Cole is an uh, 11th grader and it's called Hummingbird and Flowers. Um, bringing up the seniors is Lydia Levy, um, boy band in a restaurant and it's another watercolor. Um, another sophomore 10th grader, Hannah Maxfield. Um, did mushrooms and it's another watercolor. Mary Lou Meyer did a, um, is a 12th grader and did a pen and ink drawing. And finally, Harley Stern, um, another senior who did a paper mache dragon. Um, they all did an excellent job. And as I said, I'm going to miss them in the future. Um, this is my last year. Um, I will be retiring. Thank you. Hello, my name is Andrea Buss. I am the high school art teacher at Hilbert School District. Um, the first event that I have uh, artwork in the art show today is Shane Bulwark. He's a senior. Um, he's always had his very own style, very unique, very Shane um, is the best way to describe it. And um, he has like a abstractish portrait 
and that is done in oil paint. And then the second student that I have, his name is Griffin Keys. Um, he is Marvel Madness, and he has um, a Marvel drawing in graphite. The next student I have is Alana Koslowski. She um, did a, um, a positive body image painting in acrylic. Um, she's also a senior. Next I have Grant Schaefer. He is a junior. Um, Grant has come very far in his artwork. He's super talented. I love seeing what he comes up with. And this year he did um, a painting in acrylic of like a galaxy train situation. Um, Ellie Schmidting, also a senior. Uh, she did a very intricate drawing of an eye. Actually, it's more of a mixed media. She started off with a base of watercolor, applied Prisma color to the top of it, and then did the lashes and paint. Um, Michaela Spreeman, another senior. She has always done a variety of different, like very serene, relaxing drawings in um, graphite and she has like a window with a cup of coffee and is very calm and then I also have Jada Kapecki she's actually a freshman super talented naturally um, I can't wait to see what she comes up with through her years in high school but this year she has a very like close-up drawing of an eye in Prismacolor colored pencils and it just has a really awesome sense of texture. Um, she put a lot of effort into it as well with how detailed it is and how thorough she is with, with um, every stroke that she did with the colored pencils. So that was really cool to watch her get through that. Uh, that is everything from Hilbert School District, so thank you. Hello, my name is Jane Cole, and I'm the visual arts teacher at Howard's Grove High School. It is my honor to tell you a little bit about the students who were chosen to represent the art department at the Big East Visual Arts Exhibition at the Rar West Museum in Manitowoc. First off, we'll see our seniors. Congratulations to Blake Lines. Blake impressed me as a freshman because of his natural understanding of composition and ability to draw rather sophisticatedly as a young student. He currently makes the most incredible pen and ink drawings, one of which you get to see here. This pen and ink drawing also went to the WAEA State Exhibition. I'm hoping that one day in the future he can put his fascination with, to, with the macabre <clears throat> into drawing illustrations for sci-fi, horror, and graphic novels. Congratulations next to senior Olivia Rosenthal. Olivia is amazing because of her ability to take on challenges and persevere through them. She has shown a tremendous amount of growth in her art skills since freshman year and is currently improving her figurative drawing skills so that she can pursue a career in illustration at the Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design. Congratulations to senior Emily Rotz. Emily constantly pushes herself to go beyond the expected. She receives an assignment and instantly forms a plan. This young lady works around the clock to better her skills and it shows. This wonderful colored pencil drawing also won a WAEA Regional Award in Excellence for Colored Pencil and qualified for the WAEA State Exhibition. Emily will be a success in whatever she chooses to do. To those students who are not seniors, I hope that I'll be able to see you next year more in the art room. Congratulations to junior Jaden Van Helden. Jaden is a serious creative thinker who puts a creative spin on whatever project he has taken on, including the unique colors of a still life painting. Congratulations to sophomore Jackie Yancey. She's a drawer and a painter who sees rec and records fine detail and subtle shifts in tone and everything. Congratulations to sophomore Megan Schuler. 
Megan is a quiet but diligent student who takes responsibility for her own learning. She worked very hard on her oil painting, which qualified for the WAEA State Exhibition. Great job to all of you students. Hey, I'm Jess Ott. I am the Kohler High School art teacher. Um, and I have my seven students represented here today. Um, first, I have Haley Cole. Um, she is a junior this year, incredibly talented artist. Um, she has an interesting um, approach and style, and I love it very much. Um, so here today we have colorful buildings, and it's a watercolor. And then I have Kennedy Gebler, who is also a junior, also incredibly talented. Um, her work has grown immensely, and she's really found her style along the way. And today we have All Eyes on Me, and it's also a watercolor. Next I have Lauren Jarenkowski. She is a sophomore this year, um, incredibly talented, experimental, um, always trying to learn new things. And her titled piece is Winter Solstice, and it is also a watercolor. Then we have Jacqueline Patterson. She's a junior this year. Uh, she has a piece titled Dancing Lady, and it is acrylic and glitter on uh, canvas. That's a beautiful piece, and Jacqueline has really honed in her portrait skills and has really experimented with different styles of portraiture um, and has grown as an artist on her own free time as well this year. Uh, Nicole Roach, we have here today, uh, junior as well. Her piece is titled The Unnamed Authors, and it is a mixed media piece. Uh, Nicole has produced many beautiful pieces this year, um, and every time she blows me away when she brings a piece in. And we have Brooklyn Schmidt. Uh, she's new to color this year, um, so my first experience. She's a freshman and has incredible talent in drawing and uh, realism, um, even hyper-realism. And today she has a piece titled Fierce Eyes, and it's a color pencil bogus paper, uh, just gorgeous. And then we have Sarah Vandervaart, who's a junior and who has also um, pushed herself beyond um, the necessary measures and has created this beautiful piece called Sonder, and it's an acrylic on canvas. Um, and Sarah has also really just produced some amazing work this year. And I wanna congratulate all seven of you. Um, keep doing what you're doing and keep blowing my mind with your work. You're doing a great job. Hi, I'm Kathy Cuck from Manitowoc Lutheran High School here in Manitowoc. The seven pieces that I chose for this year are freshman Noah Lukasek, who is uh, new to art at Manitowoc Lutheran. Um, I am excited to see what he does in the future. Um, and then the rest are all juniors and seniors. Uh, Amelie Donoff is a junior who has um, is doing a self-study this year and working very diligently at her artwork. Emma Kohler it, um, has also done extremely well independently this year. She did some air dry sculpture, but she also taught herself to sew this year and um, should feel very proud of what she has done. Emma Cracked did one of the digital art pieces. She is also very self-motivated and I think that's the key for all of these kids this year is being able to understand what they want to do and go out and do it. Um, Camilla Liu is one of our international students who has had to go home already because she wants to get home. She's been here for a year and a half without getting back home and so she's ready to see her family. But she has worked, um, she's a smart girl, uh, thinks through her projects and she will be fun to watch also. Grace Peterson is one of the seniors. She did the one of the digital art pieces and um, is also a very deep thinker and uh, thoughtful at her approach to her artwork. And last but certainly not least is Olivia Sear who uh, taught herself a lot of different skills this year um, and is just a joy to work with. So I thank all seven of those kids for all their diligence and their um, attitudes along with the rest of the kids at in the art program. They've been a lot of fun to work with. Thanks.
Hello, my name is Mrs. Rose and I'm from Mishicot High School. I'd like to introduce my students to you and their artwork. The first one we have is Taylor Denton Engeldinger. She has a piece entitled Pictures Like Giacometti. It's a mixed media um, product and um, she is a sophomore who is all online. She um, also understands her form very well and our biggest challenges were making sure we communicated well so that she could be successful with her work online. Um, it helps when you're motivated and focused. Our next one is Lillian Lopez. She has a clay hand. Lillian is a, is a sophomore and I'm excited to finally have her back in class. She has wonderful ideas and skills and can create all kinds of works of art. And she's a very talented young lady. Our next piece is uh, by Caitlin Rettner. Great, great, uh, Caitlin is a junior and I had her in 3D art. She used her patience and tenacity to create some fine details on her ceramics and on her uh, carved sculpture piece. She has an excellent understanding of form. Emily Sanders is next. She is my only senior and I have her in drawing class. Emily is um, has been online all year. Um, she's been accepted to Full Sail and Ringley College. She wants to study animation. As an online student, she's really pushed herself to work on her drawing emotions and texture within her um, her artwork. She uh, she has excited, excelled in her work, and I'm excited to see what her future holds for her. And my last student. Um, is Kaylee Schmidt. Kaylee is a freshman who has joined our class late as a transfer student and she came willing to learn new skills like glass cutting and grouting. Kaylee has a mosaic glass piece um, of a flower and she was able to apply her creativity skills to that piece. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Hello again. My name is Nathan Kilps and I am the art educator from Northern Ozaki High School. For many art teachers, students become very important throughout their lives and especially when you have gone through from the beginning to the end with these students. So I am proud to introduce a number of my seniors because they are the first students that I've ever been able to work in an art program since they were freshmen through their senior year. So the first student I am going to be addressing is Ethan Barnett. Ethan Barnett is one of my seniors and he has an amazing capability of being able to produce manga and comic style artworks. A lot of his works has been cultivated throughout the years and because of his immense talent, it's been very difficult working with him because I need to come up with new ways to challenge him. So his work is called Blush of Dawn and it is an alcohol marker with pen. My next student is Amanda Daringer. She is also one of my students. She has immense potential. Uh, she does have a propensity to leave things to the very last minute, but when she does pour her heart and soul in things, she produces amazing work. So her piece is Death Through Living, and it's an acrylic on canvas. Next, I have Alexis Kurlinski, or Lexi. When I first got her, it was really difficult to get her to do anything. She had so many better things to do with her time. But whenever she would find something that she was passionate about, she would spend the time and develop that work. And in her senior year, she has really developed a passion for painting and the works that she has been producing are quite amazing. And her work is called Liam and it is an acrylic on canvas. Kelly Large is another one of my seniors who has been very focused on her studies and just recently has been focusing more on her own understanding. And her work is putting yourself in other people's shoes, which is an alcohol marker, Sharpie, and graphite work. My next two students are juniors. My first junior is Maria Nels, and she is a girl who is very inquisitive. And it makes sense that her work is murder scene number two, as it shows to her desire to find information and to develop understanding. This is an acrylic on canvas. Paige Pearson is a very thoughtful and considerate person, often looking at how other people and other cultures are functioning and what is unique to them. 
So her work is called Cow, and this is a watercolor, and it really focuses on how different cultures view celebrations. The final work is by a freshman named Olivia Giron, and she has shown a lot of talent in doing figures and portraits, and she's still working a little bit on her backgrounds, but she has shown immense capability and talent. So this is Back From Quarantine, Pen and Paint with Markers. I'd like to thank all of my students for all the work that they've done. They have focused so hard in these last months dealing with everything that's been going on with our society and our culture and with this pandemic. And I really hope they understand and recognize my appreciation for their hard work. Thank you for your time and your attention. My name is Danielle Moore. I'm representing Oostburg High School at the Big East Art Show this year. I want to acknowledge the seven students that I chose this year, Vivi Dolphin, Nina Hintz, Maddie Van Tatenhove, Emma Valland, Carson Jepson, Taylor Diener, and Katrina Smees. All of your projects were wonderful and really blew me away this year. First, let's talk about my 2D artists, Emma, uh, Katrina, and Carson. All three of you are very talented. I appreciate your diligence in class and working to each of the problems that I propose to you. Next, we'll talk about Taylor Diener. Uh, Taylor went above and beyond for her project and constructed the box that her cut paper floral arrangement was then glued in. Uh, I appreciate her work ethic and uh, her ultimate final product, which turned out to be very beautiful and very elegant. Last are my studio students. First off, thank you for being independent in your work and pushing yourselves through media, through concept, and using your time wisely in class. Vivi, your self-portrait, your emotion comes through very elegantly. I think it is very well done and captures your personality. Nina, your album cover, Bitter Touches, is very striking with the black and gold elements you've chosen to show and looks very good hanging up in the gallery, so I hope you get to come see it. And last, Maddie, my TA, you were wonderful to have this year. I'm very sad to see some of my seniors go, especially you. Tome of the Stray Cat was one of my favorite pieces of the year. Uh, your work with gouache is very well done um, and you have a very strong sense of your own personal style. And to the rest of my students who will be seeing this video, thank you for such a great year. As my first year teaching in a pandemic, it was a little bit wild and you all were very wonderful and I hope to see you again in class next year. Hi, my name is Rachel Brunn and I am the junior senior art teacher at Reedsville. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about each of my students um, and some of their um, like their interests and what they ended up painting. So I'm just going to start off right from the top. Um, the first one is Tori Kylie. Um, she is a junior and she painted a wolf with acrylic paint. Um, She's a very talented student. She took a lot of time. Um, she used her fan brush, which was really cool, um, to get like a very cool, realistic texture. Um, Riley Moore is in 12th grade, and she did her work in oil paint. Um, she actually worked all the way up until the very last second to do it. I'm very proud of the work that she made. Um, Helena is a um, senior this year and she painted her um, her pet dog so her project is called juniper and she did it in acrylic paint um next up we have elena peterson she is a junior this year um, and she did a triptych and she called it face to face um, 
it was a very cool project. She actually ended up kind of doing an exploration of her interests and her styles, and she tried to mesh together a lot of different um, preferences for art and also techniques in order to make that triptych. Um, Amber Schwambrecht, she is a senior this year, and she did something called Ribbon, <laughs> Ribbon Snakes in Spring, um, and it was a surrealist painting that she did in acrylic paint. Um, Morgan Taddy is in 12th grade, and she did a piece called Spring Bird, which she did in oil paint, and this was her first experience with oil paint. Um, she experimented a lot using a palette knife, which was very cool, and so she got a really nice texture on her bird especially. And then our very last artist is Lauren Winrich, who is a junior this year, and she did a project called A Little Bit of Nothing, which is a set of sculptures that are like, um, sort of like little fairy houses, or like little witch houses or something, which ended up looking very, very cool. Thanks. Hi, I'm Lisa Abe, the art teacher at Sheboygan Christian School, and I want to recognize the hard work of seven amazing artists that have artwork featured in this show. To the seniors, Hannah Daniels and Paige Warmus, they showed amazing independence and self-motivation in their independent studies, and they consistently blew me away with not only the scale of their projects, but also with the variety of concepts and their personal expression in their artwork. To my junior, Anna Perkins, she astounded me with her detail and especially her self-expression in the artwork she created. She always was very thoughtful with her concepts and really made it personal to her. She also truly inspired me with a clay project where she actually used some bakery items um, to squeeze out clay slip to make it look like a cake. So always surprising me, trying new innovative ways and stepping outside of the box, which I appreciate. And to my sophomores, Maggie Balco, Amelia DeMay, Anna Parks, and Thalicia Weber, these ladies have shown amazing detail and thought in the work that they create. And I truly look forward to seeing the artwork that they make the rest of their time in high school. Ladies, you all showed amazing dedication to the arts, and I hope you all continue creating amazing art in years to come. Hi, my name is Laura Adamack, and I am the teacher at Sheboygan Lutheran High School. This year's uh, Big East Arts Show uh, participants are Amara Filey, um, who is a sophomore who created a wool felted piece called Magic Moon. John Kakuzi, who's a freshman, did a colored pencil study um, titled Unripe. Gwen Small, who is a sophomore, uh, created a colored pencil and charcoal drawing titled Gasoline. Kirsten Soleil uh, has two pieces displayed. Um, she's a senior. Uh, the first one's a pencil drawing titled Shattered. And the other piece she did is an acrylic on canvas titled Come Sail Away. McKenna Stell is a junior and she did a self snapshot, which is a colored pencil and ink drawing. And finally, I have a, a senior, Dominic Willitson, who uh, did a watercolor on uh, paper coffee cups uh, that's titled National Parks. My name is Melissa Surstens, and I am here representing St. Mary Catholic High School in Nina. Uh, today I brought seven students with me, Italia Arano, grade 10, Kayla Groffel, grade 12, Lily Hansen, grade 10, Lizzie Holshue, grade 12, Mari Lash, grade 10, and Tegan Miller, grade 10, and Caitlin Powers, grade 11. I am extremely proud of all of my students this year. They have worked really hard trying to work through all of the changes in what had happened with COVID and everything. Uh, to kick that off, starting with Kayla Groffel. She did a photography piece entitled We Survived, We Revived, We Thrived, where she took pictures of how our school has changed throughout COVID. 
uh, Italia Arado has taken an old cabinet door and has created a tower of birds uh, to continue with that work. She's now continuing uh, to do a tower of water creatures and sea creatures. So I'm excited to see how that one turns out as well as look at uh, the beautiful work she did with all of her birds. Uh, Lily Hansen had took some time for the entire quarter, which is great to complete her nature pictures where she took nine squares and focused on three different insects in their homes and things. Uh, Lizzie Holt she is interested in going into sea stripping when she leaves high school. So she took a canvas and painted it different colors and a blue and then she took a piece of yarn and stitched in Ariana Grande's dress into her canvas to kind of do a multimedia piece to learn that, that art skill of, of sewing as well as continuing with her painting. Mari Lanish did a multimedia piece and taught herself how to use watercolor and ink in the same project and created a bunch of different plants that went along with her color scheme of green. Tegan Miller took Prismacolors and did macro fruit close-ups of a strawberry, a lemon, and a blueberry and turned out fantastically with all the different values and all the different textures that she was able to add in. And Caitlin Powers also did Christmas color of Troy Bolton from High School Musical. She was very excited to complete this piece and it looks fantastic hanging on the wall. I hope everyone who's watching this is able to come out to the Laura West Museum and support all of our artists. Thank you.